Hello students, so we'll continue our discussion of the overview as an introduction to our subject matter. So for now, we'll go into the details of your what, okay? The what and the why. No? And uh, what will be the details? Why are we going? to um, use the five W's as a guide to our understanding because uh, this would tell us no, the topics that we will be discussing in our subject matter and uh, we have already the details of term one and one that we have to include there will be the review of uh, financial accounting and reporting, and then uh, we'll cover the financial statement presentation of um, merchandising and manufacturing. Then, of course, who make the standards, okay? So we will first cover who make the standards because in turn two, that's where we'll uh, be able to look at the law Okay, and uh, the conceptual framework, the details of the conceptual framework in accounting standards, okay, and again, who regulate you know, the accounting profession. Now, as part of your experience point, what is the title of RA 9298? And when you know, do we uh, were able to, to develop the concept of framework you know, in accounting uh, standards? Okay? So, with term three, this is where we're going to look at the organizations uh, in the ASEAN. And in the Asia Pacific, that would be ASEAN will be AFA, and in the Pacific, Asia Pacific will be the Kappa. And then of course in the Philippines we have PICPA. Then the standards. Now we will be discussing already the standards developed by the standard setting bodies. Now you might you might wonder, mambat ganon term one din discuss natin yung who. Tapos sa term three palang natin madi discuss yung yung the standards, yung what ng standards. Yes, it is. Kasi, kailangan muna class first, uh, alam muna natin yung who, tapos yung mga foundation concept. Okay? And the foundation is actually here, yung inyong uh, Republic Act 9298 at saka yung conceptual framework. Without Republic Act and the conceptual framework, you you won't be able to grasp wait you won't be able to grasp no yung why why all these standards okay and kaya yung ating uh, sequencing okay now what would be the means in order for you to retain no the activities or rather to retain the materials provided, you will be asked. That's why in your laboratory, you have a section of asked. And asked is uh, a basis of the activities that you will be doing. And these are, A is for, uh, A will be for the different activities that you are going to perform. Take note, you have there, act. You have to act on it, no? the task to be performed. For you to be able to gain the skills and apply the knowledge, no? Why? For you to be able to absorb the concepts, no? Uh, the, the materials provided. And um, be reminded that these activities uh, would, with, with the performance, would, uh, actually be 
uh, able for you to uh, gain skills you know, with its performance. Kasi sabi nga, di ba, uh, para daw mas matandaan natin, kailangan gawin natin, di ba? Eh, para magawa ito, kailangan may kaalaman ka. At yung kaalaman natin na yan, eh, ito ang magiging basihan. May para, alam natin kung, you know, yung, sino ang dapat na gumawa? Who should act? What would be our action? Diba? Itong act natin, i-apply natin dyan yung five W's. Kaya nga, class, kahit sa laboratory nyo, meron ding act. No? E sa atin, ano yung we have, to, ano yung basis ng action natin? Siyempre, yung CAP, no? yung ating concept, assumptions, and principle. E ma'am, sa accounting, ano ba yung act? Ayan, no? Kita nyo, class. It would be Ak count. Diba? Count. Think. Okay? And with us in FAR, no? Ano yung ak sa FAR? We have to start with an end in mind. Output. Ano yung output nyo? Making decision. Decisions on what? Eh, kasi doon sa, sa FAR, you have to make Uh, decisions on which form part of the process the accounting cycle diba? and the functions ano na nga yung functions natin? apat yan eh sige nga, tingnan nyo kung tatama kayo sa so, iisipin nyo o, tingnan natin ha, kung tatama kayo o, ano yung unang function? you have o, sige na, sabihin nyo na o, tama yung una ay recording. Okay? Ayan yung pangalawa. After recording. Close. So, we have recording. And then, after recording, ano yan? We have... Recording is journalizing. ba? Diba? And then, we have... After recording, posting. Posting is what? What is the other term for posting? Posting is... Nako. Oh, ano yung mas... Ito yung... Kung oh, recording, journalizing. Posting sa simplest word. Sa layman's point of view. Classifying. Diba? Yan. Kung oh, recording, journalizing. O, oh, ano yung pangatlo? Summarizing. Summarizing is actually FS preparation. No, that's where you present your FS. Eh, yung tatlo lang ang na-cover nyo sa FAR. Kasi ngayon, yung pagka hanggang second year, ang mga subject nyo hanggang tatlong function lang na accounting. Pag nag-third year kayo, pupunta na kayo sa interpreting. Ito yung sa finance nyo, no? uh, uh, sa, sa, sa managerial accounting, gano, sa strategic business analysis, sa performance management. O, yaan yun sa interpreting function. Okay? Now, kung ito yung mga functions, eh yung subject ba natin? Para saan? Well, tingnan natin. Now, the act in CFAS would be, of course, output pa din, still decisions. Ma'am, lagi bang ganun? Yeah, the output will always be making decisions. Decisions on what? Kung accounting cycle kanina, cycle pa din, but we focus as on Recognition. Bakit ma'am recognition? E kasi ano to eh, concept. Ang recognition, saan siya, saan siya magiging um, related? Magiging related ang recognition sa recording. RR. <laughs> And um, saan yan may impact? Sa journalizing. ba? Diba? O ano pa? Valuation. Valuation is measurement. Oh, eh, yung measurement, value nga eh. So, ganun pa din. It will have an impact to recording when you need to journalize. And presentation will be, ang maapektuhan niya, yung third function. Ano yung third function? That would be summarizing. Diba? Uh, ang summarizing kasi, ano yan? 
FS presentation, the preparation of the financial statement. So, ito yung processes uh, affected in concept of framework and accounting and standard. Tapos, ano ang kailangan nating input? Siyempre, yung concepts, application, uh, and then your assumptions, and then the principle. That's why in your laboratory, ang section ng activities nyo, as, act, and uh, you have the R's, no? rewards, real life. We even have reflect and review. We have to, to, to uh, as, as a review mechanism, we'll need to have a takeaway, no? uh, which will be our food for thought in our mind. Why do we need to review the concepts, assumptions, and principle? Because uh, there is a need for us to assess it, di ba? Kung uh, alin yung mas naintindihan natin at alin yung may mga tanong tayo. Kaya nga, class, kayo may mga exit slip, no? Don't hesitate to ask. Because this will form part of uh, our feedback lecture in our wrap-up, no? Before the term exam. Uh, tamang your Google form and uh, your exercises, I'll be giving the answer key. But what's most important is looking at, alin ba dito hindi ko naiintindihan? K diba, minsan nga ang mas natatandaan pa natin in the long run, kung saan ka nagkamali? Diba, kung hindi naman yung, uh, ano yung mas tumama ako, diba? Pagka, pagka estudya, nung, nung, nung mga subject na natake up natin. This, this will be our basis in, in, in order for us to adapt. That's why there is a need for you to reflect. Because sa accounting, oh, you have to remember, you need to be an... Ba't pasensya na nako eh, nalilipat. Kasi itong pen, pag dinip ko, no, yung writing pen uh, sa, ta, sa ano natin. But, but in accounting, it's, it's, it's about being an art. Ay ma'am, ano yung art? Para maayon naman sumulat. Abay, nagsusulat ako, class. Ayon, sumu Ayon, sumusulat na. In accounting, you have to be an art for you to adapt. You have to adjust. Diba, may adjusting entries tayo. You need to reconcile with your uh, active, with your partner, adjust with your partner, and correct any mistakes. As accounting, ganun talaga. Diba? Um, kita nyo, pa, relasyon talaga, di ba? Uh, how, how, how can we take, uh, how can we balance? Ayan na nga, lumipat na naman class eh, oh. Um, burahin natin yan. How can we balance our relationship? Or how can we balance financial statement? We need to do adjusting entries. We need to do reconciling items, no? identify reconciling item, and have to do also correcting entries. So, naniniwala na ba tayo na talagang ang accounting ay tungkol sa relasyon? Oo naman. Kasi you ha you ha we have to make things simpler for us. Lalo naman pagka-concept, eh puro kwento to. Diba? Hindi, 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 actually, term one lang kayo anak may mga... May mga computation the rest of the term. Nako, puro blah, 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 blah. And, 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 and how can we um, be able to, to, to um, progress and be able to apply the concepts, the application and principle? Um, then we just have to, do, to make use of these references by Mr. Valix. No? Uh, his discussion are quite lengthy. He has a lot of exercises. Um, with Ma'am Cabrera, siya shorter version, no? Mas maigsi yung mga discussion niya. Uh, at syempre, at actually, konti lang din yung mga exercises niya. Di, kay Mr. Milan, uh, almost similar to uh, Sir Valix, there are also other references that you can use aside from Mr. Valix and Mr. Milan and Ma'am Ma Cabrera. We also have uh, from Ma'am Robles, no? And, uh, uh, may co-author din siya doon, no? Then, um, you may borrow or you may buy, but it's not mandatory for you to buy kasi uh, I'll be giving materials, no? But um, this this would be your your uh, additional, no? 
uh, resources. Wala naman kasing ano, uh, electronic version. Ito walang e-book. Yan. Now, how are you going to be graded now in, in, in our class? Uh, you'll have uh, three term exams. No? And so, always be conscious of the calendar. Dapat pag at the beginning of the SEM, dinadownload nyo na yung academic calendar no, ng CLSU para you are guided, para conscious kayo of the actions that you have to take no, uh, on a regular basis. Mahirap pag nahuhuli sa pansitan, di ba? Uh, then, how about oral presentation? Now, in, in your syllabus, uh, if you take a look at your syllabus, you have around two oral presentation. One will be uh, submitted after term two, and the other one will be after the final term. No? Kasi uh, we have to be confident in, in, in presenting ourselves. No? So that's why when you make your oral presentation, of course, you, you, you have to video yourself because I need to see how you express yourself. No, okay. Then um, what are the different uh, before sa face to face? May sit work tayo, eh, no? ano equivalent na mga sit work? Ayon yung yung sa Google form, no yung uh, in yung mga learning journal, yung in yung mga exit slip. The exit slip will form part of our feedback mechanism. Sabi ko nga sa inyo uh, para sarap sarap up natin do sa feedback lecture natin. Uh, masagot ko ko ano man yung uh, may mga concerns kayo, may mga issues, or nalilito kayo, di ba? Tapos, uh, in addition to that, we'll have our online consultation, no, online forum, of which uh, the, freak, the how often are we going to meet online will be dependent upon uh, the preferences of the majority of uh, take for the sections taking up as uh, 1,200. And this is being offered to uh, BSMA and BISAC, no? And uh, these activities will be, um, you have in the lecture class and in the laboratory class, okay? Divided into uh, ASK, ACK, we have also uh, review, no? And we also have reflect, no? Uh, and, and, and your, your uh, reward system will be through experience points. I hope you will actively participate. You may uh, post your uh, online reaction in the class, uh, private message in the class, or private message in the messenger. No, or if you want, it can be in our group. Okay. Then uh, your quizzes will be uh, normally every after two weeks. What you would have on a weekly basis would be, of course, the activities. On the average, uh, for the Google form, uh, you'll have uh, at least two, no, and other activities which will be posted at the beginning of the term, whether it be term one, term two, or term three, uh, will be uh, the third item that you would perform, no, in in the lec and the lab. And why, why all these activities? And you might, you might say, Ma'am, parang ang dami mo naman yata ang ibibigay. Um, kasi siyempre, separate the rest class yung activity for the lecture and the lab. But the purpose there is for you to have a formative activities and a summative activities as part of the learning process, no? for us to be able to develop uh, our skills and also for us to be able to uh, remember no uh, the knowledge to acquire the knowledge to apply the knowledge to perform it to to acquire the skills needed no? to have the proficiency the ba the basic foundation in accounting and hopefully uh, you will take it uh, no uh, positively because I know it's not easy in an asynchronous class. So that's why I'm I'm always uh, reminding everyone to 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 do not hesitate to always reach out to us. We are your 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 also your parent, no? As an educator, we're always here to assist you, for you to be able to make things easier for you. No? Although alam namin na na yung mga activities is quite 
quite demanding, no? That it can it can uh, also stress you out. But uh, sabi nga sa atin klase, um, we cannot do away kasi with these activities for us to be able to 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 have the acquired uh, for us to have the skills needed in the practice of profession. Now, what are the percentage of these activities? The term exam will be twenty-four uh, percent, okay, and the quizzes will be twenty-six percent. Your exercises will be forty percent, no, uh, so twenty-four to twenty-six. 40%, and your oral case presentation will be um, 10%, okay? The most of the uh, activities will will be a uh, 30% of that will be, or rather 25% to 30% will be in your laboratory class because in your lecture sec in your lecture class, that's where the term exam and the quizzes and partly the exit slip no, and the minute paper and the learning journal will be uh, uh, in, the, in the lecture class. Okay, that's why you have 40%, but the 25 to 30% will be in your um, laboratory class. Okay, and then the, the case, no, yung, the term paper that you're going to submit, that would be 5% and the oral presentation will be 5%. Okay. Kasi yung case ninyo, di ba ito yung, uh, you'll, you'll get the financial statement of the three kinds of business, okay? Regardless of the form, whether it be service type, uh, merchandise, the, ra, sorry, a service type partnership or corporation, no? Uh, we, will, we would be uh, applying no? the, the concept that we are going to uh, learn from this subject. Okay, and if this would constitute hundred percent, what will be your passing rate? It will be seventy percent. No, I hope you'll be able to have seventy percent. And you have rubrics, no, as basis for your uh, assessment, no, how you are evaluated. So, laging klasiting nandin yung yung rubrics, ha? Huh? Uh, although most often, pag sa Google form ano yun, eh? correctness sempre, de ba? And and completion. Uh, on a timely basis. Now, why are we going to have this subject? Well, it's it's sabi nga sa atin, uh, we have to look at our destination. And in, in, in our journey is all about the destination. And destination is being a certified management accountant or being a CPA or be a successful businessman, no? Uh, because now I'm I'm more than five decades in my age. There are friends of mine na they were not able to to take the board exam or even pass the board exam, but they are successful in their own right. No, kaya you have to know at this point in time, class. Tano niyo yung sarili niyo. Ano ba talaga pangarap ko? Kasi ang joy ninyo is all about the destination and how can we reach our destination. You have to dream big. You have to set goals and take action. Now, marunong ba? Ang tanong dyan, klase, eh, marunong ba tayong mangarap? Marunong ba tayong nagset ba tayo ng goal? O nangangarap ba tayo? Malaki ba yung pangarap natin? Kaya lang kasi, yung, yung, yung ibig sabihin ng malaki, depende eh, no? sa perspective mo. Kasi we are the one defining our level of contentment. No? When enough is enough. Tsaka, uh, parang halimbawa, klas ako, um, pag, pag ang kinumpare mo yung katawan ko sa anak ko, eh, malaki talaga ako. Baba? Pero pag kinumpare mo yung katawan ko sa husband ko, eh, mas malaki katawan ng husband ko. So, it's a matter of perspective. So, uh, if dreaming big and setting goal is the basis of taking action, then what is dream to us? 
green is having dedication. And what is dedication for us? Why dedication? Why dedication? Because dedication will give us focus. Because we know what we wanted. Why responsibility? Because this will tell us our priorities. Because we know what are our responsibilities. So, we know what are our priorities. And one of our priority is educate ourselves for us to be able to be given the opportunity. No? And to maximize no? education, to maximize yourself, to maximize the opportunity, you have to have the right attitude. And hey, and, and ma'am, ano ibig sabihin mo ng right attitude? Eh, ano nga ba? Well, of course, ano lang yan, klase. Uh, knowing it's okay not to be okay, okay lang na we take things uh, uh, small steps one at a time that we always have to think that at the end of the day you know, there's always what uh, kahit na 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 nadapa tayo ang importante yung ating uh, how we rise up to the challenge how we stand up to the challenges diba uh, Kasi given class ang challenges, eh, given ang problem. What would matter is how you solve the problem. Di ba nga eh? Dar- yung iba nga, ang iniisip nila, accounting is all about math, di ba? O, oh. yung mga accounting na na-take up nyo, kailangan ba talaga ng math? Eh, ang pinaka-complex na ginawa nyo doon, GEMDAS. Di ba? Groupings. Wala pa nga exponent, di ba? Multiplication lang, division, addition, and subtraction. Ang challenge nga is how, how, how you're going to, to apply critical thinking skills. Yun yun klase eh, pag sa accounting. Uh, the C word. No? Kaya kayo, yun sa CMA nyo, yun sa CPA nyo, the C word there is um, character. The C word there is critical thinking. And for us to be able to move forward, you have to be motivated. Uh, oo, nakaka-prostrate talaga. Oo, ayan, ang daming pressure, ang daming stress. But what would keep us forward is keep ourselves ourselves to be motivated. Kasi naman, close, hindi naman natin pwedeng makuha ang kasiyahan lagi sa iba. It has to start from within us. Kailangan matuto tayong makontento kung ano'y kaya natin, makontento kung ano'y meron tayo. Kaya nga kami class nandito. Kasi kung sa tingin mo, yung kapasidad mo, eh hindi sapat doon sa expectation. Eh with us, ano ba expectation sa klase? 70% yung passing rate. O di magpatulong tayo. Kaya nga relasyon. No man is an island class. Hindi pwedeng nag-iisa ka lang. Seek assistance if you need one. Or minsan, kaya may kaibigan eh. Diba? Or kaya kami nandito bilang pangalawang magulang nyo. Para matulungan tayo na ma-reach yung maximum ng ating potential. And what will bind all these dreams of ours? We always have to remember that the number one no partner in life is Papa God. We have to have no no faith in him. Kailangan sobrang taas talaga ang faith natin sa kanya. Kasi minsan parang pakiramdam mo, ala bakit ganoon? Puro na lang challenges, puro na lang ang taas-taas ng pro- dami-dami na mga problema, ang hirap-hirap naman. Eh the silver lining class, the alam mo yun, yung kaya nga natin na-appreciate yung maganda eh, kasi na-experience mo yung pangit, ba Or na-experience mo na yung, yung difficulties. 
wala ano yun eh walang lahat ganda class it's a cycle ang ang mundo is a cycle and what what would keep us moving forward is having faith and believing that God that God is giving this to us no because he has reasons for us to be strong stronger and the strongest diba? to live our life to the fullest because no uh in setting goal you have to grab the opportunity and and in accounting timeliness is everything to make relevant decision because our goal is is for us to be able to show that we are performing well through the statement of operation no the profitability that we we are strong through the balance sheet that we are providing and we are very liquid that we have we have the money to 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 support our needs and this goal of ours has, has to be put in action we have to always complete our object ob, uh, immediate objective now we cannot afford to procrastinate eh kung sa tingin mo hindi mo hir- hirap na hirap ka na na mag move forward no hirap kang uh, you know Uh, yung paa mo ay i- 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 ihakbang, magpatulong tayo. Because alam natin that action changes things. And in our classroom, it's so important that we respect each other. No? And try our best because we are the team. We learn from our mistakes Because by learning from our mistakes, we'll be able to create and celebrate each other's successes. You have to remember that we need to watch our thoughts because they become our words. And watch our words because they become our actions. Watch our actions because they become our habits. Watch our habits. Because they now become our character. And watch our character because it now become our destiny. Really, the journey is all about the destination. And how can we manage our time as a student? Well, somehow, hopefully we are creating a schedule. And with this schedule, make sure that you make time for yourself. With the schedule, we would it would give us the routine and make sure that we'll be able to write it down. Why writing it down? So that uh, it, we have a documentation, no? We have um, a, re, a, re, a basis, no? as a reference and this would tell us that uh, there is a, na- a need for us to have scheduled breaks uh, this would avoid procrastination and we'd be able to stick to our plan all work no play makes us dull so it allow us to uh, have time for fun activities and with this to-do list uh, we'd be able to do it on a regular basis We know when to work at our best and keep stress at a minimum. So do exercise class, no? And you know uh, when to reward yourself, no? Make sure that you do your happy pill. And uh, don't panic if you fall behind. We're here to assess you. And just, just, just reach out, okay? Just tell us. If you need assistance, especially we are now on a work from home arrangement and it's an asynchronous mood. Um, so, welcome class and see fast and always smile. Um, always remember that you as a person is enough. You, you can shine with smile. You can shine other people's Uh, mood, you can motivate it with your smile, you can inspire them and lead them 
to excel. No? With smile, there's really a lot that we can do. So, always keep safe and uh, always ask, seek assistance. Thank you.